it doesn't kill you, it'll keep you awake. Thanks. Oh, so, you're, uh, you're a friend of Michael Carenza's? Yeah, that's why I'm waiting. Michael was um, in the bus crash. Do you know him? Yeah, I'm his father. This is kind of a coincidence. You know, the two of us sitting here both waiting for Michael. I couldn't help notice uh, the fishnets and the shoes. I used to own a strip joint. Yeah? Yeah. Michael didn't tell me. Well, I mean, not that we've talked about family much, but... Yes, I am a dancer at Vaughn's. How long have you worked there? It's about a year. I'm, you know, working my way through college. I'm studying to be a paralegal. It's just at the club, you know, I, I make a lot of You're trying money. to pay the bills and make a living. No, you don't have to explain that to me. Well, that's a relief. Michael's really nice about it, too. I'm not going to ask you where you met Michael, because that's his, you know, I respect his privacy. But do you have any idea what he's been through? I know that he went to prison, and I know why. So then you know that he's on parole, yeah. and he has to be careful about who he sees, where he goes. Mine. Track down the kids. Oh, I didn't do anything. Dante was the one who searched me, and Michael found a way to call for help. Carly didn't come with you? Uh, she was in the ambulance, so they should be here any minute. What's holding, holding everything up? Uh, I think your paramedics are trying to keep Chrissy warm, giving her an IV drip, but I'm sure she's going to be fine. Mom, Michael was a hero. He found Morgan and he carried him back and then he took care of all of us. Yeah, good job. Uh, you gotta give Molly a lot of credit. She climbed up the road with me to signal for help. Be great. You're my miracle, you know that? I'm waiting to get rescued. Steve Weber tried to keep your mom talking to distract her from the pain. And all she talked about was you. I don't think she knows how to complain. She's a fighter, you know? She's not gonna give up. Yeah. You're right. And she loves to meddle in your life, right? So she has to stick around to do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she definitely lives for that. <laughs> hey. Just wanna say thanks. I don't, I don't think you know how much I appreciate what you did. understand your concern, but you don't have to worry. Michael's doing well in school. He's applying to college. I don't want him dis distracted. You understand? Yeah, Michael's mother feels the same. She told me in no uncertain terms I was to stay away from Michael. But you know, it's not her call. And with all due respect, it's not your call either. You know what? Michael likes you. I'm sure you're a good person, but I don't want my son hanging around, you know, at strip joints and getting in trouble, fights. Mr. Grinthos, I mean, Can you call me Sonny? Yeah. Michael and I were just, um, friends. You know, he, he's never been to the strip club in I would never invite him there. We meet at Kelly's for coffee. I mean, Michael is safe with me. How'd the checkup go? Oh, still waiting. I thought I'd grab a bagel from the cafeteria. Do you want to join me? Oh, uh, no, I can't. I have to uh, check on Morgan. No problem. Send him my best. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Hey, um, I really wanted to thank you for everything you did after the crash. <laughs> it, it, it really wasn't much compared to you. Well, you did get that fire going. I know you helped Chrissy a lot. It's all credit to the Sunshine Girls. I was actually thinking about sending my old troop leader an email saying how all those lessons paid off. <laughs> well, tell him thanks for me, too. Yeah, yeah. I'll be sure to tell Mrs. Graham that the hero of the day who saved us all and found help says, thanks for teaching me to start a fire. <laughs> well, that's nice we call the hero, but uh, all I really did was wander around in the dark until I found a cell phone. Modest, too. Yeah. Thank you. 
care about your mother. I just wish I could have done more. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what she was thinking. Going on a ski trip, she probably would have broken her neck if she got it. <laughs> well, she was sure working up the courage to brave the money slumps. Oh, well, maybe next year she can try skiing again. And I'll teach you too if you want. If my mom wants to go skiing, I will be there. Michael, it's me again. I'm in the ER. Can you call or come by when you can, okay? I just need to know that you're all right. Excuse me, do you know why those people are so upset? Um, one of the kids from the bus crash just collapsed. Do you know who it was? Baby, I've been here before. I've seen this room and I've 